You are watching the SCAC YouTube channel, and joining us today is the SCAC Football Players of the Week. Your Offensive Player of the Week, look who it is again for the fourth time this season, sophomore running back Marquis Barol. And on the defensive side, we have sophomore defensive back Michael Wall, both coming from the Texas Lutheran University football team. And first of all, gentlemen, we thank both of you for taking the time out and joining us today. Yeah, thank you. No problem. Yeah. We'll start with this. It was uh, the final game of a four-game road trip. You guys traveled to Howard Payne, ended up getting the win 54-27 to over the Yellow Jackets to complete the road trip 4-0. and I want to get both of your thoughts on this. How important, how big was it for this team? It's never easy to go on the road, and especially never easy for four straight weeks. So how big was it to finish this road trip 4-0? and Michael, let's start with you. It was huge. Um, I know it's difficult being on the road four games in a row, and um, I just – it was – it's it's something that we broke through and uh, we got through it. It was – it's it's hard being away from home so much, and it's hard just to keep that focus every week, week after week, because you know you have to be focused on the road, and then you have to go through different schedules. And it was just – it was good to see that we could keep our composure and keep focused on the game – and the task at hand. Marquis, I'll ask you the same question. Well, it just puts us in the face of adversity. Mm -hmm. Shows us we can get through it. Shows how good of a team we are, actually. For sure. Marquis, uh, another terrific game for you. I mean, 23 carries, 288 yards, which is a school record. Two touchdowns in the game. You had over 300 yards of, of all purpose when you throw in your receiving yards as well. And really, your offense kind of as a whole gets on it as your offensive line earns uh, D3Football.com Team of the Week. Uh, just first of all, tell me about your offensive line and, and how they were able to help you have this sort of success. Uh, honestly, it goes to the scout team. They give us a great look. Great look at practice every day, and so linemen have to work extra hard for when we get in the games. And basically, when we get in the game, it's way easier, more more times than most than facing them. Michael, I'll, I'll turn to you. You guys faced a high-powered offense. Howard Payne has put up some points this season. Uh, has really kind of turned their program around a little bit. You guys maybe gave up a little more than you wanted to, but for the most part, you were really able to slow them down on their home field. Tell me just how big the defensive effort was throughout the game. And we had great team chemistry. Um, it's all It all starts with practice, and we had a great week of practice, a great week of work. Um, and I, we all did our job, and – when everybody does their job, I, it just all works out really well. I mean, I know we gave up a few more points than we needed to, but um, it was just a great defensive effort and a great team effort all over. All right, Michael, I need, I need an honest answer here. Marquise so far is number two in the nation in rushing yards with 905, and he's in the top five in the nation as well uh, in touchdowns. I mean, as a defense, how good does it have to feel? How, 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 how good does it feel to sleep at night to know that you don't have to face a running back like Marquise Barrell every week? It's a huge relief. I mean, it takes a lot of stress off of the defense. I mean, I know we, we still want to make our plays and we still want to stop the offense, uh, opposing team offense from scoring and stop them from getting first downs, but it really just lets us just play and not have to deal with all the pressure that a team is really close to us because we know our offense is going to score every time. So it's just a good thing. Marquise, let me ask you this. This defense, it really seems like, especially comes away with big turnovers when this team needs it. Uh, they seem to make big plays uh, when you guys need it. Uh, how, how big of a relief as an offense is it to not be able to see your type of defense week in and week out? It's great, honestly. Like We'll be driving the field. Say we go a three and out. Defense comes next play, gets a turnover. That gives us momentum. We go down and score get them back on the field, they get another three and out, and we just keep doing our thing. Gentlemen, let me get you out on this final question. Obviously, you guys, uh, as we've mentioned, the four-game road trip time and time again, now you finally get to come back home. It'll be your second home game of the season, and only your second home game at Bulldog Stadium as you guys will welcome in East Texas Baptist for homecoming. I simply want to know, just tell me the excitement level to be able to come back home and play in front of your fans again. Marquise, let's start with you. 
it's great, honestly. Now we get more people to see what we can do instead of them just hearing about it on Twitter and on Facebook and stuff like that. They get to actually witness and get to sleep in probably a little bit more. That's definitely a plus. I get tired of being on them buses. It's uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot of people there. The energy level is going to be up. We're going to be excited. Everybody's going to be excited. It's just it's one of those things that you only dream of, you know, and um, – I'm really excited about this uh, week because, like Marquis said, we're going to actually get to sleep in a little bit. We'll be more comfortable being in our own beds. We won't be sleeping on a bus or in a hotel anymore, so it's a good relief. This has been the SCAC Football Players of the Week. Sophomore running back Marquise Barol and sophomore defensive back Michael Wall of the Texas Lutheran University football team. And, gentlemen, we're going to go to our next segment. We call it Take 5. We're going to ask you, Five random questions. I was telling Marquise off camera we're kind of running out of questions because we've had to ask Marquise so many, but we're still going to manage somehow. So I'm going to start out with this, and Marquise will start with you. What is your favorite sport to watch at Texas Lutheran? Oh, hmm. As of right now, volleyball. That's the only one I see. Those girls are competitive. Mine is the girls' basketball team. Um, Those girls can play some ball for sure. The defending SCAC champions. I'll throw that little shout out to them in there. Uh, let me ask you the ne- All right, next question. Tell me what is your favorite professional team? Michael, let's start with you this time. Seahawks right now. Um, I don't know. I kind of bandwagoner. <laughs> it's kind of bad, but the Seahawks right now are my favorite team. So basically, you like the Seahawks football team, the probably the Cavaliers basketball team, or maybe the Spurs, and you're on the St. Louis Cardinals bandwagon right now in baseball, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, right now, well, always it's been the Patriots. Tom Brady. Yeah, he's the best. Tom Brady's the best. Patriots. All right, all right. Big Brady fan. I think he said Tom Brady's the best, which he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, that may be a good segue to my next question. Who is one of your favorite professional athletes? Now, it doesn't have to come from football, per se, but who's one of your favorite professional athletes? Marquise, let's start with you. Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade, that's a good one. Michael? Honestly, LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> of course he is, right? <laughs> All right so, Michael, I've, I've got to ask, did you, did you trade in your Miami Heat Dwayne Wade jersey? Are you going to go get a Cle- Cleveland Cavalier one now? You know me so well right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Michael, I've asked Marquise this before. Maybe Marquise might have a different answer this time, so I'm going to ask him again. But, Michael, I want to know for you, uh, if you play a sport where you have a walk-up song, you have a, you, you, you know, where it's baseball, softball, just a song where, where when you're being introduced, they're playing something, what song would that be? Um, God, that's a hard one. I've never yeah, had did. a walkout, a walk-on <laughs> song, a walkout song. I'd have to say, uh, I have the tiger. Fit me well. <laughs> I have the tiger. Marquise? Well, definitely had to get back to my basics as I was in high school. Has to be, I believe I can fly by R. Kelly. That is, that, that's, that's two solid ones right there. I gotta say. All right, we'll get you both out. Um, on this final question, uh, we're actually coming to Seguin this weekend for SCAC 8 and 8. So uh, myself and Katie Mucci will be around campus on Sunday. Um, and so we, we're wondering, if, if we're coming into Seguin and, you know, we're coming in hungry or something like that, what's a restaurant you guys would recommend? Marquise, let me start with you this time. A restaurant. Well, I don't know. I usually go to Wingstop when I'm really hungry. Hey, nothing, nothing wrong with Wingstop. It may be kind of a national chain, but that, that, that's always a solid choice. Michael? Uh, there's this uh, Lost Soul. It's like, it's this Mexican restaurant. So good. Tex-Mex. If you want some great Tex-Mex, go to Lost Soul. It is so, it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm going to try something now. I mean, I was going to say, when you're coming into Texas, I mean, it, it's, it's almost a sin not to get Tex-Mex while you're there. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep that recommendation uh, in the back of our head. This has been the SCAC Football Players of the Week. Sophomore running back Marquise Barol and sophomore defensive back Michael Wall of the Texas Lutheran University Bulldogs. And gentlemen, again, we just want to thank you so much for taking the time uh, to join us. We congratulate you yet again on the honor, and we wish you and the team good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank you.